Okay, welcome to how to earn 80 to 250 per hour as a mobile notary. In this video, I will be referencing the uh, mobile notary mastery book. If you are watching this video and you don't have the book, you do not need the book and vice versa. It's however you wish to learn. Some people are auditorial learners, some people are visual learners, so forth and so on. So uh, at times, again, I'll be referencing this book because this is the easiest and most condensed package uh, of information on how to make this on how to make this this bread and it's I'm not saying that it's all about money obviously a part of it is you don't commit to giving people or providing people services with no exchange uh, equal exchange so obviously you know you're owed that um, whether that be in bigger amounts through real estate transactions like um, uh, loan signings or or, or, or a home equity line of credits and so forth and so on, or whether it's for small things like affidavits or wills or power of attorneys, either way, um, you know, an equal exchange is uh, needed. You provide a service, you help out the community, uh, everybody wins, and it's a very lucrative business. So let's start with the foreword. Uh, my name is Brandon Moran, by the way. Uh, in today's age, we no longer read through, uh, nor want to, hundreds of pages of self-help and business books online tutorials or manuals in order to achieve financial freedom or create a successful business. All right, now you can skip like two to three minutes ahead if you wanna get right into uh, the first paragraph of the, of the uh, start of the book. This is the foreword, uh, but I think it's important to give you some background information so that you know who I am, who's teaching you, so you don't think that I'm sending you off, okay? And what sending you off means, that's a colloquial term, that means uh, giving you uh, purposely misleading information that I'm not doing. I'm giving you exactly what I do to look this beautiful. Okay. In today's age, we no longer read through hundreds of pages of self-help uh, and business books, online tutorials, or manuals in order to achieve financial freedom or create a successful business. Is that because life is moving too fast or that we need to slow down? Maybe it could be the computer or the cell phone subconsciously pushing us to make quicker decisions. It could even be the fact that most of us wish to have overnight success, which that's a big problem uh, that people think you can invest and you're rich overnight. You can do um, you know, a song and go viral overnight. It's, it's a lot of... Um, it's a lot of gems that they hide from people uh, that people should just have at the baseline of their of their mind as since if they're business minded um, because otherwise you just be led astray and you think that the image is more important than the actual feeling you see some people uh, have Lamborghinis and they don't break their backs to keep it you know they could care less about it while some people maybe rent it out or actually try to buy it and they're not in that tax bracket and they, you know, fall short because it's the image instead of the reality. But nonetheless, uh, as long as we know we're getting the information that nets results, then we are good to go. This is uh, my attempt at that, okay? To provide you the most information that you, uh, the most important information, excuse me, that you uh, need that I have utilized to make a uh, hundred bucks uh, per hour on average in most cases um, even double this amount but you know for the sake of this it's 80 to 250 because you have to um, you know you obviously have to grow your business make the sales and all of that which is like extremely simple uh, but in 30 days or less right in 30 days or less all of this okay simply by notarizing documents is a, 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 as a mobile notary okay uh, in some chapters, uh, it will go into great detail, while others will be self-explanatory. This book will explain how to create your mobile notary business from start to finish and how to run it perpetually. That is to say, without having to do a great deal of work every day to get uh, results. Now, I'm not saying sit on you know your couch or your sofa all day and wait for calls. I'm saying you also got to do proactive things like market it, uh, market and um, other stuff we'll get into later down the line. Uh, this book will explain how to create your mobile notary business from start to finish 
and how to run it perpetually, that is to say, without having to do a great deal of work every day in order to get results. This is not to be confused with a sit back and relax type of business. You must put in the work, but if done correctly, uh, you won't have to uh, do it constantly to get tremendous consistent results. This is a business where when you build it, it lasts forever. It really does. You can shut it down and start it back up really easily. Um, I'm not an astute lawyer, um, you know, a genius savant, a, a lucky special case. I just followed instructions from someone that knew. Um, I just followed instructions from someone that has that knew about this and that has done it before for decades. Okay, some people call this getting a mentor. I don't really like nor do the mentorship thing. I much rather it's probably because I'm kind of antisocial, but it's is I would rather much look at a video or a class or something, or maybe go to a class with 30 other people. But, you know, some people, most people are only going to have their own best interests at heart. So you probably, not all people, but I would say most of them. So you, the mentorship thing, you got to be careful with, because a lot of people get scammed with that nowadays. So I don't do that. I just try to give out concrete, raw, factual information. Um, I've been in the Republic for, for a long time, okay? And in this span, I have uh, had hundreds of foreign and domestic uh, personal and corporate clients, okay? And the revenue I've made speaks for itself. So people talk a lot about, okay, you need to be a notary for 10 years to teach on it. Otherwise, you're not qualified to teach on it. I'm like, no, hell no. That, 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 that's not true. That's not true at all, okay? I don't know what, I don't know what that is. Um, experience is better than the length of time, especially when it, now maybe not in all cases, you know, what if it's sports or, or gardening or whatever, I don't know. But I know in this particular industry that experience is what count, okay? Um, it, this is a service-based business, okay? Um, so don't let anyone tell you, you know, you can't do it. What is a notary public? All right, now this is when we get into the heart of the book and we start really diving into uh, how to do this whole process. So let me get some water. Oh, it's over here. Be right back. And I'm going to give you guys a, a, an amazing run through of this. And again, forgive me or bear with me if I stop because this is some great information. And you might have to slow this down because I read particularly fast. But it's really interesting because uh, as I go through it, I'll be interjecting. I'll be interjecting and I'll show you, uh, I'll show you some, uh, well, I'll provide you with more information and insight in between these paragraphs so that I can give you really the full picture. And uh, after you see this video, if you're still not satisfied, email me, email me, but, but pay attention. What is a notary public? And let me not say notary republic, right? Cause it, some people say that you're not a notary republic. You're a notary public. Okay. A republic is something else. Uh, if somebody gets on the phone with you, and, and you'll get this later, you'll get this reference later down the line. If you get on phone with the uh, get on the phone with the client, and they say no to republic, you probably should start teaching them about it um, right then and there. If you want to try to you know help them or you know give them uh, you know provide them the service, but. If they don't accept it, you should just get off the phone because they don't know exactly what you do as a mobile notary. And you'll get that later down the line. But let's uh, let's keep moving along. What is a notary public? A notary public of the common law is a public officer constituted by law to serve the public in non-contentious matters, um, usually concerned with estates, deeds, power of attorneys, and foreign and international business. So, you know, contentious is not like something like, 
criminal cases or investigations and stuff. So you own like a different side where it's all really like straightforward, friendly stuff. When most people read the definition of what a notary public is versus seeing what a notary public actually does, they are surprised. And uh, most people think it's a hard task to do and it's not. It's not at all. I thought in the beginning when I was learning it, I'm like, oh man, I'm not gonna be able to do this. But I'm like, you know what? Let me stop thinking like that. Let me let me move forward. And even if I fail, at least I know I did. You know, I, I actually tried it, and it turned out to be one of the one of my greatest money makers. And it surprised you too, depending on how you market them. So, hey, um, some people think there's a list of complex processes you must do in order to fulfill your duties. Um, a notary public witnesses and notarizes signatures. That's very important. That's your whole, that's your whole thing. Um, other than like oaths and stuff like that, but that's like your whole thing. And once you learn how to do that part, it's really simple. If the person who is signing the important document is in front of you and can provide proof of their identity, then you simply perform your duty as instructed. Um, you know, sign this, stamp that, get paid, and uh, you know, move on uh, about your day. And uh, those are the basics, but we'll go into more detail about it uh, again later as we get into the heart of everything. So the truth is, your duties are straightforward. Okay, um, this is you know why would you want to become a notary uh, a notary public, right? Why? Uh, this means you don't have to worry about signing any uh, complicated documents or performing any uh, difficult acts, you know, that has to deal with law and, and complicated uh, 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 lawful uh, semantics and all of this stuff. You don't have to worry about any of that, okay? That's what this means. Uh, this makes it an easy and lucrative business to create for some very generous side income. In fact, there is no training necessary in most states. If there are training courses in your state, uh, it will be a walk in the park. Like to pass it, if they have you take a test, it'll be easy, um, and it won't cost a large amount of money. And if it does, you can actually like petition to get your application um, uh, process for a lower amount of money. Because being a, not being a notary public, you're serving your community at the same time. Like you're providing a service, helping people, and you getting paid so everybody wins. And uh, the reassuring thing about being a notary public is that they will always be needed, okay? Somewhere, someone is always gonna need to utilize the services of a notary public to get their documents lawfully notarized, okay, properly. We understand that a person can simply go to a bank or a currency exchange to have a short, simple document notarized. It will cost them one to two bucks. This is not that. I repeat, if they go, if most people, depending on who you talk to, they might even be notaries, but they are a notary for their job, which normally includes a bank or which normally includes a currency exchange, and they have no clue that they can make more money being a mobile notary with their notary commission than being behind that glass. I hope you guys are following me. Okay. Uh, most people don't realize there's an entire industry, okay, of notary publics uh, specifically called mobile notaries, okay, that travel to distant locations or sometimes not so distant uh, in their county or city, in some cases state, uh, to notarize more critical um, and time sensitive documents and documentation like wills and doing depositions and oaths and, and, and uh, home loan signings, um, the startup costs. Uh, before I start on that, I'm talking about startup costs, let me start on this water real quick. All right. Okay, so as strange as it sounds, uh, there are startup costs to this business, okay, because it is a business, all right, in, in sarcasm, okay. Uh, now, the startup costs are small, but they do exist, all right. The essentials are your notary stamp, 
in journal, which is about 30 bucks, your own mode of transportation. Okay. You need a vehicle. Some people are so legit with it. They do it. They get on the bus, bro. And they be doing it, getting money. Um, but normally, yeah, just if you, I mean, if you're not traveling far, just any, any vehicle will do it. You, you can even Uber, you know what I'm saying? It, it's however you want to do it, but it, it definitely helps to have your own mode of transportation. It definitely helps. Um, the notary commission, uh, and that's for gas, uh, costs. That's for gas, uh, the notary commission, which is usually around 15 bucks. Uh, I know in like Illinois, it's like 15, I believe in Indiana. It's like, it, it's different in different States. Uh, and just, uh, have the ability to speak English. All right. Startup costs also differ person to person. Oh, I thought I was about to sneeze. Startup costs also differ person to person, depending on how you're going to market and whether or not you will take on notarizing real estate documentation versus general documentation. Uh, what that is, is, uh, and the total startup cost should be between 100 to 300. I didn't spend that much. Website, notary supplies. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really it. Like the little stuff, like the pins and all of that. Like, as long as you have your journal, your stamp, which that is the notary supplies, as long as you have that and you have. Uh, you know, the tools you need to do the services you provide, you're straight. All I need is the notary stamp and the journal and some pens. I carry it. And uh, actually the thing that broke recently, I got to get a new one. So it's uh, the startup cost shouldn't be that much. You know, you'll pay some money for the website. Uh, if you're not a tech guy like me, you know, you're probably going to pay somebody to do it so you can get some business because you don't want it to look, you know, like unprofessional. And you can email me about that, too, also. And if there's anything I don't cover, if there's anything I don't cover, you can actually... Uh, you can actually email me about that if you have any questions, but I'm sure I'm going to cover a very, very good amount of uh, essential information. So, okay. All right. So you'll uh, need a website, which you can build pretty, pretty quickly and easily. As I mentioned before, most domain hosting websites, costs anywhere between 30 to 60 a month. Some is like 60 a year. It all depends on what you find. You know, you could do the Wix, you could do the Google, you could do um, WordPress, it, you know, whatever you uh, feel comfortable using. Uh, the domain name itself costs about three to 10 bucks, okay? Um, do not let the startup costs throw you off. Don't let it throw you off. Don't let anything throw you off. If you really try to make some really good side income, don't let anything throw you off as you get, as you get into the business. Okay. Because that can happen. And, uh, if I would have let that happen, I wouldn't have made so much off of it and been to so many cool places and, and did so many cool things. Uh, on top of the money, like the experience is awesome. So, so, uh, don't let anything, <clears throat> don't let anything discourage you. Okay. Your startup costs are actually like 90% lower than most businesses in the world. It's, and that's, that's interesting. Okay. All right. Receiving your commission and re or uh, receiving your commission slash notary public certificate. All right. To receive your commission is simple. You go to your uh, uh, state secretary of state website, all right? So if you're in Illinois, Ohio, Washington, Colorado, you will go to the secretary of state. Colorado, of Texas, of this state, of that state. You go there, um, 
and this is the first step, okay, in getting your commission. You'll find uh, the notary public section on the website. If you can't find it on your first attempt on your Secretary of State's website, uh, do a more specific search on like Google. Uh, for example, Secretary of State Illinois Notary Public. If you, if you pop that in Google, in fact, in fact, I could show you I could, well, no, yeah, that's going to use up too much bandwidth. I'll just stick to this. So uh, when you go to the website, if you don't find it the first time, just do a more specific search, and it'll usually get, it'll usually get you to the right place, government, website, or some of that nature where um, it'll, you know, you can, you can uh, register or log in. And, again, it's so it, – because it's different in different states, I don't want to confuse you and say something that is or that isn't in your state. So uh, just remember, it's based on where you're at, not where where I'm at, where you're at. Okay. Um, so uh, try a, a more specific search, such as uh, Secretary of State. Uh, plug in your state notary public application so secretary of state ohio notary public application secretary of state texas uh notary public application now some states you can apply online whereas other states you might have to do a paper application they might not even it, it do anything online uh usually the online forms are downloadable and are fillable pdfs where you can type right in them and just print them Okay, and, and send them in. Now, once you're once you complete your application, you will normally have to send uh, the application fee with it, along with proof of identification, like a photocopy of your ID, uh, to get approved. And uh, the last thing you'll have to purchase is a notary bond. The notary bonds cost between twenty five dollars and fifty dollars. Okay, uh, and the bond is for like five thousand, five to twenty five thousand. So it's not you're not paying five thousand. The bot that's the uh, that's insurance basically. That's your notary insurance uh, for four years. It usually goes. It, it usually is the same term. It usually is the same amount of time. Uh, it, it has the same amount of time to expire as the uh, as your commission does. All right, and that takes less than fifteen minutes to receive online. Uh, some of some states take two weeks and some take four weeks to process your commission application to become a notary public. Okay, it's all that's all dependent. In this downtime, uh, you can start creating your business. So don't if they're taking forever, let them take forever. This is the time where you start on building your business. So when you get the commission back, you're ready to go already. You already know how to notarize before you even get it. All right. Um, so you'll start with the logo, you'll start with the website, you'll start with the business cards, however you want to market. I recommend the website. Logo is not 100% needed. Business cards are definitely needed, but not at the beginning stages, but I recommend them highly, okay? Uh, by the time you get your commission, you're ready to go. So when you look for your application, don't look don't get fooled by like third party websites. Make sure it's a county, government, or secretary website. Okay? County, government, or secretary website. Some third parties claim they will expedite the process, meaning make it, you know, give it, get it faster, but they just want to charge you, overcharge you, and just be patient and just spend less money to get it. Okay? Um, as much easier, simpler, and cheaper to do it yourself, okay? And I advocate doing it yourself because it gets you comfortable with paperwork and, and, and working with paperwork and following through with processes involving paperwork, which is what your, which is what your, what your uh, business is based on, okay? So this goes for classes and courses as well. They claim you must take their courses in order to be hired to do services for anyone, uh, this is not what that is. I'm giving you information and I'm, I don't agree with that. You can do just fine without any special course or special certification. Some companies 
loan, uh, loan signing agencies require certain credentials, but those is like 10% of the industry and you can simply skip because they won't be worth the headache. Okay. Buying your supplies, buying your supplies is a simple task. Okay. Don't spend more than $60 on your supplies. I only spent $30 to get my supplies. All right. And, uh, and that was at the beginning of my business. And you, uh, you will require a stamp and a journal, a notary journal. Usually you can Google notary supplies and find a product that comes bundled with both. Okay, easy. All right, easy. Simply make sure the state on it, on your stamp, is the correct state and that you know your expiration date which you can find maybe a week early before they send it or before it gets to you after they process it all you have to do is go to the secretary of state's notary search and look at look up the number or look up your name uh, rather and find your number and you can put it on the stamp so before you get your commission as i was saying earlier you can get your uh you can get your stamp, all right? Um, supplies won't take long to come, so it's usually best to wait to receive your commission so you can input the right information on it. If you're not sure, if, if, if you're skeptical, you know, don't, don't follow through with it. Just wait and, you know, keep working on your business and your business cards and your website and uh, put the, uh, you know, let, let the uh, commission just find its way to you. Some people get fancier stamps and bigger journals. That's not needed. Okay, you can do that if you want. It, it definitely uh, helps the business. The only extra supplies is like ink pads, fingerprinting forms. Uh, speaking, of, uh, uh, speaking of ink and fingerprinting, this is why I have to throw away my last uh, bundle. Uh, my ink pads, my uh, uh, my fingerprinting supplies, I had to get rid of all of it because uh, I left my supplies in the hot sun too much. It's summer now, so uh, I left that in there and the ink busted. So I had to get all new supplies. That's a little funny thing I wanted to tell you. So picking your services, this is important. Let me get some water, hold on. Picking your services. Okay, so picking your services. Here are a list of documents notaries normally notarize. That's a tongue twister. Power of attorney, deed, affidavit, will and last testament, loan, refinance, oath, jury, and acknowledgement. Okay, they can prov you, you can actually provide fingerprinting services and apostille services. Now, depending on your personality, your availability, so forth and so on, uh, and experience in notarizing, you can choose what you prefer. Okay, so some notaries stay away from real estate documents like loans and refinances, and they just deal strictly with deeds and affidavits. You know, they stay in their neighborhood. They, some people like to go downtown. Some people like to do it for big corporations. You know, it's however you wish to do it. The more services you are able to provide, the more income streams you'll have. Uh, creating your website. All right, creating your website is a fairly simple but detail-oriented task. The web, uh, website should be professional instead of personal. And uh, I find that this gives you the most organic traffic and customers. Okay, now again, depending on the state, you might not, depending on the state, some people might like it more personal. You know, I don't know. In my experience, that isn't uh, what gets, gets you sales. You know, that isn't what gets you sales. So that's what I know. Um, I find that it gives you the most organic traffic and customers. Depending on the state, some individuals find that having a more personal website is better for business. Uh, in this case, having a corporate feel to your website not only helps with business traffic and customers, but you'll beat out most of the competition based off image, okay? Image. 
Some have others create their website. Again, I'm a techie guy type of guy. I can do it. You can email me, uh, uh, M-O-R-A-G-N-E-B-1 at gmail.com. Some have uh, others to create it, and some do it themselves. You got Wix, WordPress, GoDaddy, Google, many more. Uh, they have website builders that are all very easy to use, okay? I recommend when you're building a website to get ideas from other mobile notary websites as well. This is so you can get familiar with the basics of what uh, should be on your site. So just Google mobile notary in your area uh, and browse the different sites to see, you know, what, what you like, what you don't like, what you can take from it. Um, and... Uh, Yo, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, this is a lot of information and it is just absolutely incredible because like, to be honest, I, I really had tried to do this like a hundred times. And basically what I did is I just figured like I would, I would pretty much just do one take and give, give out everything at once so that people can, you know, have all of these reference points and all of these ways to make money okay and that's the most important that's the most important thing for you guys if you spend money you want to make money so don't don't uh don't think otherwise this, i'm gonna go through these are marketing techniques i'm about to go through okay these next three chapters are marketing techniques now i'm gonna try to condense this because it's actually easier when i'm on video to explain this okay so if you've ever searched for a business or Google, Bing, Yahoo, Yelp, it is 100% free to list your business on those platforms, okay? Now, uh, this is the first step in marketing your mobile notary business. This is where the money is at. What I'm talking about is a Google listing or a Yelp listing or a, a Bing or a Yahoo listing. Uh, just Google it. Just Google it. Google Google listing and to begin open up a, a Google my business account. Okay. And then you don't have to have a brick and mortar building to list your business. Okay. Even if your business is at your house, you can list it as a business, uh, but you still need to have an address. Okay. But don't worry. No one is going to come to your house or anything like that. Don't, don't worry about that type of thing. Uh, it's a fairly easy process. Okay. You are required to have a mailing location so that you can receive instructions from Google on what to do next, okay? What normally follows is a postcard with a code detailing how to finish listing your business, okay, to the world. So when people search in that area, the keywords, which we'll go over, you'll get, you'll get uh, brought up in that search. Okay, hold on one second. I don't want to. Okay, yeah. So when the, uh, when someone searches, obviously for a mobile notary in in your area, your business will pop up on that list. And I'm gonna show you how to. I'm a, I'm gonna tell you right now how to get on that list. I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, that's marketing techniques too. Uh, it's very important to keep your name, logo, and website professional, corporate, and to the point. What this means is when you're choosing a name, make sure it has the word notary or mobile notary in it somewhere, okay? It should be short and to the point, and if possible, it, it can be catchy, all right? The reason for this is because when people search for businesses on Google or any other search engine, they search by keywords, all right? So I'll give you an example. Chicago Prime Notary. Prime means first, you got Chicago, and you got notary in there. 